Hi everybody, I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to do the sexy winged smoky eye look. I don't know how I'm gonna call it. I'm just super super happy with the result. I love colors on brown eyes. I think that brown eyes can get away with a bunch of colors like green and purple and blue. I think it's so sexy. The eyeliner look in general, I think that it's so sexy. Whoever is wearing it is definitely give you like the feline look if you know what i mean before we get into this video subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the ring bell button this way you're gonna be notified every time i'm posting a new video now if you'd like to see how i've created this look then uh, please keep on watching it's been forever since i haven't had a proper manicure that should be fixed Soon. I've been loving the glow drops from Dr. Barbara Storm. I think it's pronounced Storm because she's German. I've already used them and the skin is very glowy. But why not apply some more? So this is not a makeup product. It's not like a highlighter. It's a skincare. I like to apply this mostly on the high parts of my face. And I will not apply a primer. I will have this as my primer. Let's go on and apply some foundation. I'm going to use this one from Surat Beauty Surreal Skin Foundation. Wand in number 8. It comes with a brush. You just need to press in here and then the product comes through the brush. I'm not crazy about the brush that comes with, so I'm going to use this Morphe M439 brush. And I'm buffing this into the skin. Very good foundation. Can be super natural. On this side, I have some... Let's just call them imperfections. We all know they are pimples. Let's see how this foundation covers everything. Let's just go on with another layer. Guys, this foundation looks super good. I've been using it in the last few of my videos. I will use this uh, Too Faced Born This Way concealer as a base for my eyeshadow. I'm not gonna use the concealer yet under my eyes. I'm using porcelain. Sephora 57 brush. Now I'm going to take Hoola bronzer from Benefit with a 217 brush from MAC and I'm going to apply it as a transition shade. A little bit higher than my crease but that is only because I have deep set eyes. But if your eyes are, you know, a different shape, you want to apply this right in the crease. And then I'm also moving it a little bit towards the nose. If you want, you could call this an eye contour. Just like you contour your face, you can contour your eyes as well before you actually start to do your makeup with whatever you want to do. Now with this Hakuhoto B21 brush and some loose powder, this is the Laura Mercier one. I'm going to do a quick swipe all over my eye, like all over. Marc Jacobs Ultra Skinny Gel Eye Crayon. This is super skinny, guys. You could get like really, really close to that lash line. This is a retractable pencil. And I'm applying this pencil all along the upper lashes. So you have to look straight in the mirror when you're doing a winged eyeliner. I'm going to apply it on the lower lashes as well. I'm connecting the two uh, lines together upper one with the lower one okay now w with a clean 
brush you just want to smudge this I've switched with this 219 brush from MAC By the time I was looking for another brush, this completely dried. And it looks like it's not moving. It's there to stay. Okay, now that both of the eyes are done, I'm going to use this palette, Moroccan Spice from Fenty. How beautiful is this palette? I mean, really. And I'll take this color right here with the same 219 brush from MAC and apply that color and smoke it out. I do the same thing on the lower lashes. I gotta tell you that so far this eyeshadow had absolutely no fallout. If your eyes doesn't allow you to do a very precise eyeliner, you can always use this technique to like elongate the eye, the shape of your eye. And you can use this with whatever color you want. I, I just happen to have a, this idea in my mind with these colors. But you can use it with a brown. You can use it with a purple, like aubergine, like reddish, like whatever you want. Green. I'm going to take from this palette, which is from NARS. This is the Ardem collection. I will take this color right here with a flat brush. I'll take that 219 brush again and just blend this darker color into this shimmery one that we just applied. Then I'll take from the same palette, I'll take this one from here, apply it in the crease. It looks kind of messy now, but it will look better in a little bit, I promise. Let's go on with the rest of the makeup because I I can't even think when I look at myself and I see no concealer and with these eyes, it's just, you know, it's just not working. It looks very dirty and I don't know, I don't, I, yeah. Concealer born this way from Too Faced, Sephora 57 brush. I'm going to set everything with the powder, Laura Mercier, translucent. Loose. And I'm gonna use this brush from Kat Von D. I'm just gonna take a bigger brush and set the rest of the face, but very fast. That's it. Then Hula Bronzer from Benefit and this 137 brush from MAC. I will just bronze and contour at the same time. Now I'll take a big fat brush. This is Zoeva 108 from the Screen Queen collection and apply the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Bronzer. I love this bronzer to apply like an all over glow. I feel like I'm telling you the same things over and over. It's the same person over and over. So I, I pretty much have the same places where I apply makeup. I'll do my eyebrows off the camera and I'll be right back. I'll take again the Hula bronzer with this uh, angled brush and I'm gonna smoke out the lower lash line. You see how when you smoke out a line on the eyes, it just makes your eyes look bigger? On my small eyes, sharp lines do not look good, except for maybe eyeliner. For a minute, I thought I'm gonna hate this and I'm gonna take everything off and start it all over. I'm glad I didn't. Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I will take this blue right here with this tiny little brush and I'm going to apply it just here on the lower lash line. It's just a tiny touch. On the lower lashes, I'll use the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. This is the best for the lower lashes. The reason why I like it so much is because um, it would never smudge. On my lips, I'm applying Kat Von D's Studded Kiss 
and Ophelia. This is such a pretty nude. It's so beautiful. And the Kat Von D lipsticks, if you haven't tried them yet, they're so long lasting without drying out your lips. I can't help it and I'm going to contour my lips just a bit. Let's see what highlighter we're gonna use. I always wondered, do you guys want me to use like only the new stuff? It's very challenging for me because I don't always have new stuff. So for example, I have some old products that I really like and I'm not using them because because uh, I feel this pressure of using new products, but I want to know your opinion. I mean, I'm doing videos for you. I want to know what you want to see. Okay, let's move on with a good old highlighter that I am so in love with. This is the OMG highlighter from Ila Masca. Morphe Y14 brush. This is a unique, I would say, highlighter. It has an absolute unique color. I haven't heard about Ila Masca in so long. Maybe it's just me. I'm going to apply this blush from Laura Mercier. This is in Ginger. Alright guys, this is the final look. I love how it turned out. I can't believe that I wanted to take everything off. It happens because I don't have my base on. Whenever I don't have my base on, I'm like, mm. I love this color on brown eyes. I think that with brown eyes, you can wear so many colors, like blue and green and purple, and you can always make it look chic, you know? I really hope that you guys enjoyed this look, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, and click on the ring bell button. This way you're gonna be notified whenever I'm going to post a new look follow me on instagram i'm super active on insta stories today for example i don't know when i'm gonna post this i have showed you all of my favorite masks if you want i can make a video in here because i'm crazy about skincare leave me a comment and let me know if i should use older products i think that there are a lot of old products that people just forget about because we're all about the new stuff so let me know what do you feel about that? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I am thinking about you. No, you're gonna listen to this. But so do what I love about it. Your shirt. Your shirt was not right. Did you iron it? <laughs> you know, like Mimi. <laughs> Mimi. Hi, everybody.